Hello guys! If you have downloaded an audio file from a site called Librevox, you have heard the start and the end of each chapter. It all starts with... Chapter 1 of The Call of the Wild This is a Librevox recording. All Librevox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit Librevox.org. This recording is by Mark Smith of Simpsonville, South Carolina. The Call of the Wild by Jack London Chapter 1 Into the Primitive And in many cases it ends in a similar way. So if you are selling public domain books on Amazon KDP or you can create a compelling offer adding the audiobook and sell it as a bundle or simply as a bonus. It makes the passive income generated from ebooks even more profitable. I'm sure that it will bump up your reviews just by doing so and frankly many people are adding the audiobooks to their offers but not many are editing the mp3 files. Alternatively if you are listening to the Librevox audiobooks and you are annoyed by hearing the same thing repeatedly well then there is a simple solution to that. In this video I will show you how to do simple edits so that you do not have to hear the every single time. And what is great about this, I will show you a free open source software which allows you to do this, so that you can enjoy the audiobooks without being interrupted in every single chapter. You will find down in the description field below a list of keyboard shortcuts for that particular software and also a short list of professional native English readers. The list contains links to their Librevox profile. Please also check another of my videos about navigating the Librevox as this is the follow-up to the first video. So I have the audio file already downloaded. I need an audio editing software for the job and for this task I will use software called Audacity. This is a free open source software, great to do various things with audio recordings. We will use only a small fraction of the options available in this application. So let's type Audacity in Google and on the right you can see a short snippet of Wikipedia entry and let's click on the first site on the very top which says download Audacity. The direct link to that is www.audacityteam.org. Depending on your operating system, you have a choice of downloading Audacity for Windows, Mac or Linux. I'm using a Windows machine, so all the options and shortcuts will be for Windows version of Audacity. If you are on a Mac, please follow along the video as all of that looks the same in Mac, except that instead of control, you have command button. On the Audacity side, under the Help tab, if you click Documentation, View Current Audacity Manual Online, and this is your manual. Alternatively, I have created a PDF with keyboard shortcuts. Link is in the description field below the video. Click on the version compatible with your system and proceed like with any other software install. The dialog box will tell you what to do to install the app. It takes a few minutes. So once we have the software downloaded and installed, I will open the Audacity and go through a few tools that we will be using in this video. On the very top, we have a menu bar. We'll focus only on first two, which is file and edit. Click on file and you will see a few options. New, open, recent files, close, save project, export, import and exit. Then click on the edit and here we have several options with shortcuts right next to them. And keyboard shortcuts will be very helpful once you get into editing 50 plus chapters in one go. Then right below we have a transport bar and a few buttons. Pause, play, stop, skip to the start, skip to the end and record button. Moving on to the right we have a edit toolbar. Majority of these options are covered in the menu toolbar under edit. Then a bit further to the right are two other options which we will be using in our edits. And these are zoom in and zoom out buttons. And that is for the options which we will be using in here. To open file, go to the menu bar, then to file, click open, choose a file and click open. So I'm going to open this file. Then you will see something like this. And please don't panic, this is how the wavelength looks like. Right, let's play a file. And if it happens that you cannot hear anything, then go to the device toolbar and choose a device that you are using to play audio. And you have to do it manually. 
and I'm on a headphones at the moment, so I will choose headphone. And now I can actually start playing a file. Click on the zoom button so that you see the wave in 50 second increments. Listen to the part when the actual book starts. Chapter one of The Call of the Wild. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording is by Mark Smith of Simpsonville, South Carolina. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Chapter 1. Into the Primitive. After establishing where the book starts, follow my steps. Click on the part of the recording where you want to do the cut, and then a vertical line appears in the place where I have clicked previous. Place a mouse to the left or to the right. I'm just going to be cutting all that part here to the left. So the mouse will be placed in here. And you can see a hand pointing to the right or left if you do it from the other side. Works both way. Click the left button on your mouse and hold it. Drag the hand to the place where the book starts and drop it exactly like I just have done. Now we see a highlighted part of the track and you can either delete it or cut it out, whichever is your preference. And let's play the file again. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Chapter 1 Into the Primitive. Old Longing's Nomadic Leap Chafing a and that is it. The first part of the recording has been trimmed. Our recording is ready to be saved. To save an edited file to our computer, go to the file and please do not click Save Project because that way you will save only the Audacity file. And the Audacity file is not an audio file. Well, it is, but it w you will not be able to play that file on any other device than your computer with Audacity installed. So if you would like to move that to your phone, you won't be able to do that. So in order to actually save the MP3 file or any other format for that matter, go to export and you have a choice in here to export as MP3, as WAV, and there are other formats. What I'm usually doing, I'm exporting as mp3. Add something to the name of the file so that the file name, it will be different than the original or choose a different location. I'm just gonna add underscore and hit save. And another window will pop up and you can either amend the metadata or leave as they are. You can just clear everything, but I believe that the metadata is quite useful. So I'm not amending anything in here. I'm gonna click OK. Now, depending on the length of the file, you might have to wait 10 seconds for 20 minutes audio recording to be saved. So if you're running your home-based business selling public domain works and you would like to add the audiobooks to your offers, Bear in mind that some readers are adding the text at the start and at the end, some only at the start. In many cases, the text in the first chapter is slightly longer. So when you get up to speed with keyboard shortcuts and you will start editing the files just by looking at the wavelength, which looks the same every time. What I mean by that is the same text looks the same in every file and majority of readers are starting the, the other chapters in the same way. Unless you're gonna get three chapters in one file. That's slightly a different story. But if there is one chapter per one file, you should be able to memorize the wavelength and easily do it. Now, you can do the rest of the chapters. All right, guys, if I was able to help you out, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment or subscribe. All of that will be very much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.